I do think that uh, a role of a competition agency is also to receive input from the outside in order to improve insight. So uh, I think it, it, I couldn't imagine a better way of celebrating the 20th anniversary than learning from all these people, from private practitioners, from academics, from heads of agencies, from discussions that we've seen just in the last panel. Um, so, in fact, one of the central roles of a competition agency is to build a continuous and solid relationship with the relevant stakeholders. And this is what is happening today at this conference, uh, where we gather all this competition community. But uh, the, the truth is that the, comp the promotion of a competition culture is not and could not be undertaken alone by the ADC. And here, academia is a part of uh, the dialogue that it's needed to build a general awareness about competition, especially if we take into account that the advancement of any scientific field relies on the publication of novel ideas. As such, competition law has also been developed globally thanks to the decisive contribution of academia through young and not so young researchers, through young and not so young professors, Therefore, taking into account that the ADC does not act in isolation from society, we consider that one way of contributing to foster knowledge on competition is by promoting the ADC Competition Policy Award. This award aims to encourage scientific research in the field of competition policy, and it's already part of the ADC's history. It distinguishes works both on competition economics and competition law in alternate years. In this year of 2023, the award is given to an academic paper in the field of competition law, which in my first year acting as president of the selection committee honors me even more. The 2023 ADC award was decided by a selection committee composing by the following people, some of them colleagues of mine from academia and legal experts, who I admire the most, which I must refer so Professor Frederic Jenny, Professor F Richard Wisch, Judge Johannes Lattenberg, Professor Cathy Zers, Professor Pina Rachmann, and Professor Miguel Mori Silva. It was a privilege to have these remarkable members of the jury for this year, and I'm grateful for their outstanding work and contribution. So today I'm also honored to be joined by Professor Frederic Jenny. Uh, worldwide well-known uh, uh, star in competition, chairman of the OECD Competition Committee and member of the Selection Committee to announce the award winners and to give us an overview over the select papers. But before I call Professor Jenny on stage, I would like to invite all to participate in two upcoming ADC webinars. In these webinars that will take place on the 20th November and on the 4th December, the award-winning papers will be presented by their authors. So please save the date in your calendars. Now I'll give the floor to Professor Frederic Jenny to announce the winners of today, this year's uh, award. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege to be part of the selection committee of the ADC award. Um, first of all, because you get to read all those interesting papers and then to think about the new directions of uh, uh, thinking and uh, to be familiar with new uh, authors. So I'm very pleased uh, that I've been asked to uh, uh, announce the, the winners of this year's uh, ADC Competition Policy Award. Uh, the award goes to a paper on challenges to enforcement of predatory pricing practices in online marketplaces by Maria de Los Angeles Mufti Guerra. Uh, this paper was, is very interesting, shows all the difficulties uh, that uh, one can face uh, uh, to try to deal with the predatory pricing of online marketplace, and the jury was particularly sensitive to uh, three items. First, the very high scientific quality of the paper. Um, second, the fact that it was very well grounded in doctrine and jurisprudence. And third, the fact that it was extremely clear on a topic which is particularly complex. So we really appreciate it, and this is the reason why we chose uh, this paper for the award. There is a runner-up, uh, an honorable mention, uh, which has been uh, attributed to a second paper 
on a topic which is somewhat related to what we were talking about this morning, screening data as evidence in EU cartel investigations by Diego Montero. Uh, the jury considered that this paper was also solidly grounded in, on existing doctrine and uh, with lots of reference, including to the OECD work on this. Second, uh, comment on the experiences of national competition authorities uh, in the world on using screening data. Third, a good discussion of the difficulties and the limitations of screening data. Um, and finally, proposals for solution, proposal to make them more effective. So we thought that this was a very useful paper. So those are the two winners uh, for uh, this year's uh, award. Thank you very much, and congratulations to both, both of them. I am Maria de los Angeles Mufti from Chile. I am very grateful for this recognition from the Portuguese Competition Authority. So first of all, I just want to express my gratitude to its president, Mr. Nuno Cunha Rodriguez, and to all the members of the Portuguese Competition Authority and the members of the Evaluation Commission for the opportunity to present this work and for encouraging the investigation of competition policy. Also, also, I want to use this opportunity to express my gratitude to King's College of London, especially to Professor Alison Jones, because the essay that I present for this award was made in the context of my dissertation investigation for the LLM program in the competition field. Um, this program, as well as the guidance of Professor Alison Jones, allowed me to develop the ideas and discussions presented in my essay. Finally, I just want to express my gratitude to the government of my country, Chile, because they grant me a scholarship that allowed me to study at King's College and to devote the necessary time to develop this research. So the ideas behind this paper were born from my experience working in the Chilean Competition Authority, where I was able to see that the investigation and prosecution of abuse cases was a complex job. And I am sure that with the new dynamics of digital markets, markets, this is going to be even more difficult. So in that context, the objective of my paper was to discuss the challenges that competition authorities will likely face when analyzing predatory strategies by e-commerce platforms. Basically, the work proposed a review of the legal tests for analyzing predatory strategies by online marketplaces exploring the possibility of waiving the price cost test while focusing on looking for additional factors that show that there is a strategy to exclude rivals by a platform provider. So I really hope that this piece of work can be a contribution to the discussion of abuse by digital platforms. And once again, I just want to express my gratitude Thank you very much for this recognition and for giving value to this kind of research. So thank you so much and have a nice day.